Hey everybody, Katrina here with Gal Gone Camping. I uh, hope everyone is having a great day. Um, I want to tell you today about another use for Reflectix. Uh, I'm sure many of you have used the Reflectix material before. It's primarily used for insulation. Um, if you saw one of my other videos, I did, um, I did a piece about using Reflectix for a permanent roll-up window shade for your vans. Um, or anything really, any kind of window. But, um, you know, a lot of YouTubers who, uh, who, who are van lifers, who, who live in a van, they, uh, use the Reflectix material. They cut it out to fit the, um, the windows. So you can just put it in there. So that's what, uh, I guess a lot of people use it for. And I, as well as I, I've done that too. But I have a little vintage camper, um, so, some of you who have followed along on my Galgon Camping Facebook page, you've seen my camper. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome. I love it. Uh, it was in great shape when I bought it, uh, but I just kind of wanted to redo it. I've repainted and, and uh, done a little things uh, to make it my own, and which I'm almost done with it. Uh, certainly usable the way it was, and, and I've used it, but uh, um, making it my own. So, one of the things I did, so if you guys can see this... Um, the back part here behind the kitchen, uh, in the kitchen wall, um, it was really, it was really pretty white, uh, beadboard paneling, which I love that too, but I wanted something, um, I didn't want to have to paint any more than I have to. I've already painted a lot and, uh, I hate painting just to tell you the truth. I'm not very good at it and I just don't like doing it. <laughs> uh, and white just wasn't in the color scheme of what I was doing. My colors, as you can see, and here is going to be like uh, aqua and uh, turquoise, uh, really rustic. My ceiling, if you can see that, but I'm going to show you a complete uh, video uh, tour on this when everything's done. But uh, I use stain. Um, so my style is really rustic. Um, so white doesn't go with anything that, that I do. So um, I wanted to cover up that white uh, paneling without having to paint and um, wanted to remember to keep everything lightweight. So, uh, silver uh, was also kind of a, a color in this. You know, that kind of goes along with my, my theme kind of is like Southwest. I'm, I, I love anything to do with the West and I love those colors, those earthy colors. But um, I also used up here in the, uh, I'll bring this over here, you can see, you can see where my silver colors come in. But I use the, uh, it looks like the tin ceiling panel. It's actually plastic. Got this at Lowe's. A lot of people use this if you've seen camper redos. And it's just such such great material for all kinds of things. But, so that's where my, you know, a little bit of silver pop come in here. And so I thought, well, what else can I do? I didn't, this is pretty expensive. This is like $20 a piece uh, for a little uh, sheet of it. So I didn't want to have to put any more money into it than I have to. I'm really watching my expense and using what I had. So... Um, I thought, well, what else, you know, with that silver color? So, Reflectix was the perfect solution for this. So, what I did is just cut out the Reflectix material and just stapled it, you guys. Stapled it right on there. It's lightweight. It, provi it provides insulation here on this wall. Um, here's some more of the my tin ceiling panel, so it blends right in with that, too. Uh, great material. Very, very lightweight and easy to work with. It's just like air. So, absolutely love it. Um, so, everywhere there was a, this was a little open, if you can see this, this was a little open shelving space. And um, I just, I, I covered that on the inside too with the Reflectix. One piece has come down, I gotta put that back. But that is going to be a little wine rack, which I think I'm gonna try to make that. I was going to purchase one, one of the little expandable ones, and I might still do it, but I thought, you know, if I can make it, I'm going to do it. I'm all about using what you have, using the materials that you have. A lot of things in here were repurposed materials um, or leftover materials that I had from some other project. So, um, like I said, you know, this, this channel is all about um, simple, you know, simple living, thriftiness, um, low budget. Everything I do, I want to do it on a low budget. I have to. <laughs> So those of you who know what I'm talking about, you want to you want to do everything you can that is going to save you money. So, Reflectix, 
another great idea, another great use for it. And, you know, I may find uh, another use in here before I'm finished, but I'm almost done with it. And I, there's my color. There's my ceiling. See the, the stain? It's just a light stain over uh, what was already there. It was a painted like a gray, but I just lightly stained over it. So I don't want to, you know, I didn't want everything to be too dark because these aqua and, and um, turquoise colors are on the dark. So well, they're not dark, but, you know, I didn't want to make it too dark in here. So uh, something else I did, um, I recovered the little light switches here and just the pink bandana tape. Uh, I actually had bought some silvery, silver plated, well, they were like a nickel, you know, nickel, uh, switch plates, but also another cost, you know, uh, which that wasn't that much, but, uh, when I held them both up, I, I really like the little, uh, pop of pink color and the little bandana motif. So that's going to be here and there. Um, uh, over there is another, if you can see that it's another light switch that has the little pink. So, and I'm going to see where else I can put that. But anyway, like I said, it's all about saving money, all about using what you got, repurpose materials. So, once again, another great use for Reflectix, one of my favorite materials. So, anyway, if you guys find this video helpful, uh, please hit the like and share button. Um, subscribe to Gal Gone Camping. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to put a link down here um, for all the other things, the... Uh, uh, other products that I've used um, in this project. So this actually, you know, Reflectix, you can get anywhere. I picked this up at Lowe's. Anyway, be sure to subscribe to GalgonCamping.com. That's the blog. You can find a lot of other cool information there. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow along on Galgon Camping Facebook and Instagram. And I can't wait to bring you guys along on all of my adventures. So uh, please like and share. And remember, don't wait to live. See you down the road.